seated. Welcome to this congregation for the conferment of degrees. I'm Parveen Yacoub, I'm Deputy Vice-Chancellor and Presiding Officer for this congregation. Graduates, your degree will be officially and formally conferred on you at this ceremony. Today's graduates are split into four processions which will each come up one at a time. Each graduate will be summoned individually by name to the platform by the University Orator. And when you're called up, please do come right up to the white line. Otherwise, you'll go home with a photograph of the table and a corner of your gown. So please do come up close. Now, acting under the authority vested in me by the university, I will doff my cap by the university mace, which formally confers your award. And you will then, as a graduate of the University of Reading, descend the platform down the same steps to rapturous applause from the audience and collect your certificate over from the right and return to your seat. The exception is our postgraduate research students who will instead be invited in turn to take a seat on the stage to recognise that they have achieved the same academic qualification as those seated behind me. Now, this congregation is steeped in the university's history and tradition, but above all, it's a joyous occasion where we celebrate the achievements of those processing. So please do show your appreciation for each and every one of them. By the authority of the Council and of the Senate of the University of Reading, this congregation has been summoned for the conferment of degrees. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, candidates will now be presented for their degrees. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Doctor of Philosophy has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy of this university. Rihan Jumar Al-Haddad. Major Al Hosseini. <laughs> Kriko Marukian. <laughs> J. 
Jing Ning. Mehmet Emre Palakaya. <laughs> Deputy Vice Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Master of Science has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Master of Science of this university. Accounting and Finance. Ala Ahmed Balali Essa. <laughs> Jing Yuan Liu. Manori Ishra Ramaniak. Hua Tu. Now we have Accounting and Financial Management. Masvita Chaima. <laughs> Joshua Lee. Su Ching Li. <laughs> Dipesh Patel. <laughs> Alberto Piovan. Francesco Tonini. <laughs> How Wang. Accounting and International Management. Jaykar and Basie. <laughs> Imad Hussein Dard. Chloe Anita Heath. <laughs> Daniel McGuire. Mr. Dulos Marquides. <laughs> Business Technology Consulting. Alia Mazin Alrahi.
Dylan Gunner. Guo Tong. Andrew Hunt. Kun Chan. Zaid Sultan. Mate Turner. Entrepreneurship Creative Industries. Thatcher Paul Tirana Prakit. Entrepreneurship Leadership Moy <laughs> Burke Akchaba Othman Al Rashid <laughs> Yinhai Hu Killian Pyrrhiton. Christos Stamatis. Sonatia Sorichai. Information Management and Digital Business, Big Data in Business. Joshua William Bryant. Giovanna D'Souza Loyola. Ime Alo Kalu Omar Farouk. Damiano Gasparotto. <laughs> and Aksha Jane.
Deputy Vice-Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Master of Science has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Master of Science of this university. We continue with information management and digital business, big data in business. Kavisha Rashesh Kothari. Ilaria Mazzoli. <laughs> Henry Mulligan. Bandana Nagaraji. <laughs> Shweta Pandi. Driti Tayagi. <laughs> Ebo Seta Alexander Ugu. <laughs> Information management and digital business Digital Health and Data Analytics. Zakaria Christie Frank Anthony. <laughs> Beth Eloise Harvey. Chuk Yan Lee. <laughs> Yi Ling Ma. <laughs> Information management and digital business Digital Innovation. Olusola Beatrice Ajisif. <laughs> Berfin Dagtakin. Denisa Alexandra Fatu. <laughs> ben Alec Ordeva. <laughs> Daniel Watson. International Business and Finance, Abube Benedict Azim. <laughs> Teresa Hauser. Pranav Ganesh Mystery. <laughs> J. 
Jayapat Prathang Sukri. <laughs> International Human Resource Management. Erika Inam Agpo Puamang. Aisha Aliu Modibo. <laughs> Nuf Ahmed Al Mukbil. Sandra Fernandez. <laughs> Vicky Fryland Halgard Pedersen. Siki Ren. <laughs> Charlie Yuan. Now we have management. Sirdar Akchai. <laughs> Tarek Al Harbi. Eski Kankarteran. <laughs> Sharmistra Chakrabarti. Jiagang Dung. <laughs> Dong Fang Gao. George Charles Gosling. <laughs> Robert Gray. Venetia Magnani. <laughs> Caitlin O'Reilly. <laughs> Tom. 
Thomas Alan Plater. <laughs> Kyushin Shan. Kwasirak Utafi. <laughs> Management, international business. Yasim Amir. Sachin Bakshi. <laughs> and Sonia Kabora Sage. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Master of Science has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Master of Science of this university. We continue with management, international business. Bria Freeburn. Joshua John Peter Hunter. Shahzad Kayani. Sergio Lenarduzzi. Pritchaborn Riantit Payasco. <laughs> Shall you sweep? Basian Thorpe. <laughs> Xinhao Zhang. <laughs> Li 
marketing, consumer marketing. Happy Chaya Chongan Fapkun. Kate Coughlin. Jack Stephen Dinsdale. Ruhol Fatima Saeed Razi Hussein. Jack Frederick Marsh. <laughs> Louis Jean. <laughs> marketing, digital marketing. Sorrow it. Ajchari Yafota. <laughs> Nikita Belyakov. <laughs> Janelle. Faisola Benedict. <laughs> so maybe Abby Ben Willie. <laughs> Sophie. Campbell. <laughs> Toby Condy. <laughs> Amit Joshi. Andrea Kalu Sarah Khalid Aya Kitty Warawat Maria Constantino. <laughs> Isaac Peter Sebastian Laws. <laughs> Jinhao Li. Yi Luo <laughs> Yu Ching Mu <laughs> Aruj Mudasa. Ha 
Ali na Chiptia. And Marta Philippa Abru Navis. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Master of Science has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Master of Science of this university. Marketing, Digital Marketing, Christabel Jane Retualo. Asad Saeed. Burke Sarak. Layla Sharif. Alessandra Solinas. Yan Shin. Marketing, digital marketing. Oloa Towin, or it's say in me, Bayagbon. <laughs> Yang Hoi Sao. Zainab Dimachoglu. <laughs> Anupama Kumari. <laughs> Kushbu Rathor. Sebastian Rylat. Lan Lan Wu. Lan 
Leadership and Strategic Studies. Neil Alexander McClellan. Kevin Parks. Andrew James Wiltshire. The Deputy Vice Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Bachelor of Arts has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Bachelor of Arts of this university. Accounting and Business, Fraz Mateen Bari. <laughs> Accounting and Management, Fata Ali Khan. Jordan Gihara Kimani. <laughs> Anna Giotta Michelidou. Iman Shafiq. Christopher Williams. Business and Management, three year. James Singh Y. Cook. <laughs> Michalis Di Machu. Kolawole Ibrahim Salawu. <laughs> International Business and Management. Kaito Kaichuku and Wokedi. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, I present you these candidates to whom the degree of Bachelor of Science has been awarded. I admit each of you to the degree of Bachelor of Science of this university. Accounting and Finance, Vanessa Mbasso. Harris Rashid. <laughs> Harry Edgar Willis.
accounting and finance with placement experience, Michael Oluwatimilihin Olaniyan. International Business and Finance, Gabrielle Hodgson. <laughs> Deputy Vice Chancellor, I present you this candidate to whom the degree of Master of Science by Research has been awarded. I admit you to the degree of Master of Science by Research of this university. Biomedicine, Alpana Prajapat. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, it has been agreed that the remaining candidates be admitted in absence. I admit each of these candidates to the relevant qualification of this university. Well, the joy and pride that I see as I look around the Great Hall is absolutely wonderful, and so you should be proud. A university degree is a huge achievement that requires persistence and resilience. And so let's celebrate all of our graduates one more time. And I also, on behalf of our graduates, want to thank all of those who've helped them along the way, their families and friends, the academic colleagues on the stage behind me, the many professional and support staff across the university. They've inspired you, challenged you, supported you and stood by you. So let's just take a moment to thank them. Now, a joyous occasion like this traditionally calls for a few words of wisdom to carry with you as you navigate the next steps in your lives. Some people use it as an opportunity for political commentary. I definitely won't be doing that. But what I will do is share with you three principles that are important to me that I hope might resonate with you. And they are resilience, respect and responsibility. So resilience has become a bit of a buzzword over the last few years as we faced hardship and challenge. And although resilience stems from hardship and challenge, it's rooted in a desire to survive, even thrive. And it's even better when that survival is nurtured by the collective support of others. The writer Gregory Williams summed up resilience when he said that on the other side of a storm is the strength that carries you through. Every day brings the possibility of trials, of obstacles, of failures that might discourage us. But it also brings new opportunities, new challenges, new adventures, new ways of doing things that might not necessarily work and new directions to set your sail towards. The American inventor, Thomas Edison, had to make thousands of prototypes for every one of his inventions before he finally got them right. He didn't let that put him off. He famously said, I have not failed, I've just found 10,000 ways that don't work. And this year we lost Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth and whether or not you're a royalist, it's hard to deny that she was a symbol of much needed unity and stability. And she once said that when life seems hard, the courageous do not lie down and accept defeat. They are all the more determined to struggle for a better future. So whether you've had struggles or challenges, the fact that you're here today is a testament to your perseverance and resilience, and we couldn't be more proud of you. My second principle is respect, and I want to illustrate that with the story of Bletchley Park, an English country mansion not far from Milton Keynes. And if you know a little bit about World War II history, or you've seen the film Imitation Game, 
you all know that Bletchley Park was the secret centre of Allied code breaking during the Second World War. The code breakers who worked there were absolutely critical for the war effort. And in the beginning, in the very early days, a man called Alistair Denniston was responsible for the recruitment of the code bait breakers. He set out looking for men of the professor type, um, famously uh, Alan Turing, the mathematician. But by the end, when many of the men had gone to war, about three quarters of the code breakers working at Bletchley were women with degrees in physics, engineering, maths, many with a strong background in languages. And there's pretty strong evidence to suggest that if it hadn't been for the code breaking at Bletchley, the war would have lasted somewhere between two and four years longer, and the outcome might even have been different. So the code breaking work at Bletchley quite literally saved thousands, if not millions of lives, and might have changed the outcome of the war. But just as important as what was achieved at Bletchley was how it was done. And if you ever visit Bletchley, you might see a plaque just inside the entrance opposite the gift shop. It says this, Bletchley Park was a melting pot of brilliant minds set free by an atmosphere of tolerance. Societal norms were swept aside. What mattered was what people could do, not their gender, sexuality, religion, or any supposed eccentricity. By removing those artificial constraints, Bletchley Park brought out the best in the fullest range of talent. In this sense, Bletchley's code-breaking success came not in spite of people's differences, but because of them. It's a compelling model for the power of diversity that resonates more than ever today. What an inspiring blueprint for us all. Doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. It's what you do that matters. And my third and final principle is responsibility. Now, I grew up in an environment that actively discouraged education for girls. My mother was never allowed to go to school or to learn to read and write. And it made me all the more determined, not just to pursue an education, but to champion equality in higher education and to step into places where women of color were either lacking or completely absent. It was always a simple question of responsibility because if you're not prepared to step up and be the change you want to see, how can you ever expect change to happen? All over the world, University of Reading alumni are doing amazing things to make change happen. And you now join their ranks. So use that privilege. Listen to voices that are different from your own. Harness the diversity of talent around you. Be the change you want to see. It's been an absolute privilege to have been part of your journey. Welcome to our alumni family. Thank you. <laughs> Graduates and guests, please be upstanding as I declare this congregation closed.